Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to increase a number by a percentage. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at question A here, so we've got to increase 50 by 25%. I guess the first thing we've got to try and figure out is what is 25% of 50? Uh, I'm actually going to slightly change the question here because um, let's make it actually 60. I don't think it matters, but like, so we want to try and increase 60 by 25%. So our first step here is to try and figure out what is 25% of 60. Once we figure that out, then we have to add it to the 60 because then that's how we actually increase the number by 25%. So let's work out 25% of 60 first. So we're going to go 25% of 60 is the same thing as saying 25 over 100 multiplied by 60. Now, I know that in the previous video of this particular series, I showed you folks some uh, shortcuts of how to do this um, without a calculator. But for this video's purpose, I'm actually going to be using the calculator. If you want to learn how to do it without a calculator, go back and check the previous video. It's pretty much follows the same thing. Uh, just this one extra step right at the end. So we're going to find out 25% of 60. So that is uh, 25 over 100. So 25 over 100 multiplied by 60. And that's going to give me 15 here. So with that in mind, um, now this 25% of 60, that's actually 15. But the question is actually asking to increase 60 by 25%. That means to increase, what we need to do is we actually need to add uh, 15 to the 60. So we're going to go 60 plus 15 equals 75. So this is one way of doing this. Now, there is another way of doing this. Um, and that's, um, I might actually drop an explanation video later, but the sh there is a shortcut for this, right? And um, I shouldn't do this, should I? Yeah, let's just do this. So the other way to do this real quickly is um, whenever you multiply by one, you're actually having 100%. So what you're really doing is you're actually increasing 60 by 25%. So that's like you've got 100% and you're going plus 25%. So which means all together you've actually you're looking at 125% of 60 because that's what adding 25% means. So you've got the 100% plus the remaining 25%. Now if you think about 125% as a um, decimal we can actually say 125 percent as a decimal is going to be 125 divided by 100 which is actually equal to let me just put that in 1.25 so a quick way to do increase by 25 percent is you would actually go 60 multiplied by 1.25 because the 1.25 the one stands for 100 percent the 0 0.25 is the 25 percent increase so if we do 60 times 1.25 that's the other other way of getting that answer really, really quickly. So if we have a look at question B, we've got increase 120 by 30%. So what I could do is in the calculator, I could simply do 120 multiplied by 1.30. Because remember, the one stands for 100% and the 0.3 is 30% of 120. So what it's doing is it's pretty much doing all those steps in one little equation and when we do this we're going to get 156 but let's actually do it this way and see if this actually works out as well so my first step is to work out 30 percent of 120 so i've got 30 out of 100 multiplied by 120 i'm actually not going to use the calculator for this because i can actually cancel the the zeros and what I've got left over is 12 times 3, which equals to 36. Therefore, to increase, I would need to add 120 plus 36, which equals to 156. And if you look at the calculator screen, that's what I've done. So anytime you want to increase a number by a percentage, you would just need to multiply that number along with one point, uh, well, whatever the percentage you're trying to increase by. So if you're trying to increase a number by like 65%, then you would actually multiply it by 1.65 because the 1.6, 
sorry, one is actually for the 100% and the 0.65 is the 65% that you're going to increase it by. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.